Hey guys, uh, on my lunch, I just thought I would do some random thoughts and just of like what's going on in today and like with all the news about terrorists and Ebola and it's just, it's kind of interesting. I think the world's, not the world, at least I think our country cycles through that often because like in the 50s and the 40s and if my time frame is incorrect I apologize but we had you know like the red scare was going on you know we were always worried about like our you know is your neighbor a communist if he is report him the whole duck and cover under the desk because you know we were under nuclear threat so now it's just we're all worried about everybody being terrorists our our neighbor because he's of Muslim faith or whatever religion, you know, from over there, you know, now they're, you know, they're possible suspects. And that reminds me of, you know, back World War II with Pearl Harbor and everything when we had the Jap Japanese concentration concentration camps and we basically took Japanese immigrants and threw them in camps, in jails, basically, you know, because we felt that they could be spies or whatever. And it just kind of cycles through that and the whole Ebola thing eh, the Ebola, Ebola thing is kind of interesting it's you know I, I think we have a very good chance of not having as much of an issue as it could be because um, we're already germaphobic as it is in the United States I mean everybody's got hand sanitizer everywhere you walk into stores and there's little wipies for the shopping carts. You know, there's the little squidgy soap dispensers that dispense the little foamy hand sanitizer for you. And then, so, I mean, it's not, you know, impossible that it could happen around. But I think it's very hard for it to. So I think as long as people are cognizant about being, you know, hygienic, we have a very good chance of not having as big of a scare as everybody talks, but the fact that they allowed people to be around that virus or where it's known to be, and then allowed them back in the country, you know, call it harsh, but I think if you go over to a country and you intentionally are hanging around people with the Ebola virus, then I don't think you should be allowed back in our country. I mean, we're not going to risk, you know, hundreds, 10, 20, thousands I mean it just doesn't matter it's being irresponsible or taking that that uh, making that choice then you need to the repercussions are is you're endangering the mass or the majority of us then you don't have a right to come back into the country until proven otherwise and so I mean that's call it harsh but that's how I feel I mean it's like when I'm sick you know I take time off from work so I don't get my co-workers sick it's sounds silly but that's just the way we are nowadays I mean it used to be where you were sick you would go to work and be sick all day and throw up your guts and everything like that and you would I mean op, you'd probably get somebody sick but they don't do that anymore like they send you home and like that's for a good reason it's as our population gets thicker and more dense you know the chances of illness are greater just like with that flu virus that's going around clobbering kids sorry about that got interrupted with work but um yeah as the population gets thicker chances of uh, epidemic is greater and that's just the way it the way the world works and it's it's harsh but sometimes you got to do bad stuff to survive like not letting other people in the country so Unfortunately, for those who are in control of that situation, I don't approve. It really bothers me that they did that. But the other thing, too, is just off subject is, uh, or not off subject, but just a different subject is the whole, you know, process, like basically condemning Muslims, you know, people that are actually citizens of our country, you know, people that want to exercise their religion, which is their right. I mean, even if it's a religion that we don't agree with because we're warring with another country that's, like, really ex being extremists about 
their beliefs, you know, we can't punish those who exercise it in our country. Now, if they are actually doing ill will towards us, towards our country, towards our people, towards the citizens, that's a different story. But if a guy in the NFL makes a touchdown and wants to bow down and praise Allah for, for having that touchdown, then let him do it because that's that's okay to to show your religious faith and give thanks. I mean, as long as you're not showboating, I mean, those are the rules by, an, by the NFL, then let them do it. Who cares? Like somebody doing the Rose Cross thing, Catholic, praying before a game. If we can do it, if Christians can do it, then let the Muslims do it. Like it's their thing. They're not shoving it down your throat. If you don't like it, pay attention to something else for 30 seconds. Unfortunately, you know, that's just... If we're going to live in a country, you got to let people have the freedoms that we have. You know? But that's the other thing, too, is... For all the people that are... You know... We are... We're being... Uh, let's... I'm trying to think. We're being... Kind and showing... Um, I can't think of what I'm trying to say, but... You know, like, people that are practicing Muslim, Muslim, Muslim faith, we're not punishing them for the people that are doing the bad things overseas, and we're not punishing them for the few that do the bad. We're allowing the greater of the good practice the religion and not punish them. Same concept with gun owners. Like, if they're going to have that kind of mentality towards religious views, they need to not punish 80 million gun owners to, you know, because of some asshole that goes and shoots up a joint, like, you know, the one person they want to just take everybody's rights away, then, I mean, if they're going to let people, you know, practice a religion that is, you know, kind of stigmatized with violence and abuse of women and things like that, and I might be incorrect on saying that, so I apologize, correct me if, you, if I'm incorrect for saying that, but, you know, then, then we need to, they need to show a little bit of tolerance for people that want to exercise their second second amendment right and the rights that we have as americans because that's the whole point of the freaking diploma or not diploma what am i talking about the freaking constitution Ugh. well i ran it on for dang near eight minutes so you guys take care be safe uh, let me know what you think about the video and take uh, i don't know i'm getting back to work i don't know what you're doing